Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Kelsey from Kelsey This Year. You can also find me on Instagram. I'm so happy that you are back, um, or if you are new, welcome. I have had two previous vlogs on my channel, but brand new to YouTube. So um, thanks for being here. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all those good things. We have a full misguided haul today, as well as some other spring pieces from Zara and Topshop. They're all really great basics to keep in your wardrobe. We also have some skincare and beauty favorites. So can't wait to share all these pieces with you. And if you're interested, let's keep watching. So to get this kicked off, I'm going to go through some of the misguided pieces. They had a great 50% off sale. If that's still available, I'll leave the code down in the description box for you to check out, but they do always have a ton of great sales. Um, so make sure to wait until there's a discount. Um, so the first one is this great um, top that I'm wearing. So this is a nude ribbed knit bodysuit. Um, so I absolutely love this for spring. Um, such a great staple that you can really wear with any pieces. So I'm wearing with high-waisted black jeans right now, but you can really pair with any number of Outfit. So just absolutely love these neutrals for spring um, and can't wait to be wearing this all season. So I just took inventory of what I had in my closet. Um, I was missing a few key body suits, so I was able to pick these up from Misguided as well. Um, so this is just black. Um, the fabric is really soft. Love that it's really short sleeve. And then um, again with the black, you can really pair it with anything in your wardrobe. The next bodysuit I got is this white one. Um, so this is more of a little mock neck, turtleneck, um, but still a great layering piece, so you can really put this under anything. This would be really great with high-waisted um, ripped denim or any other sort of more light denim for spring that I love. This next one is um, more of a cotton t-shirt, so it's a little bit um, more of casual material than the last one. Um, you'll see in the cutouts, but I'll also share here just kind of how different the the fabrics are. And this cotton one, again, really great, versatile. I just got a really cute um, basic one from ASOS, but I love this one that it's an actual bodysuit and it really hugs tight to the body. So um, a great layering option again with jeans, even a skirt. I have a really cute leopard skirt that I think that this um, could be really cute with. So um, another great basic. Next is this crop. You can see it's a little cropped. Um, this is more of a nude fabric, so um, also from Misguided. But I love that it's a little bit cropped, so um, whether it's with high-waisted jeans, you can do even um, with yoga pants, high-waisted yoga pants, and have it be a really casual look. Um, this is a really beautiful one that I've been wearing a ton. I even paired it with a pair, a new pair of Zara pants that I'll share in a little bit, but you can see in the Instagram picture that I put up here um, that this is really beautiful with those kind of neutral tones, cream, pants, um, anything that you'll be doing for um, spring then even into summer will be really beautiful. This next piece is another really beautiful camel piece from Misguided. This one is also cropped, um, but is more a fleece, kind of three-quarter zip. This type of piece I also really love under um, a, either a leather jacket to dress it up a little bit. You can have it under a jean jacket. It's also a really versatile piece that can go with a lot of types um, of bottoms as well. So i probably wear this with um, dark denim, but um, this is a really cute piece that is also great in that mid-transition phase from winter into spring. The last piece that I got from Misguided is this denim uh, chambray. So I've been looking for a piece like this for a really long time, so I was so excited when I saw it on the Misguided site. It's definitely oversized, it's very baggy, it could probably be hard to see on camera here, but you'll see it in the cutaway. Um, but this is a piece that you can layer over really any sort of look. So I love this, um, it can be really casual. I'd wear something like this um, to work even, I have a pretty casual office setting. So this is a great piece that I really can't wait to layer under you can layer it over really any of the bodysuits that I just showed you um, but wear it really casually you could even um, button it up a little bit and tuck it in um, for a front tuck and that could be a really cute look as well so next I'm gonna get into three pieces that I got from Zara Zara's is all time kind of one of my favorite stores to shop at they always have really great trend pieces but they're also really affordable so you can really be able to try new trends um, new colors anything like that so as you all know I'm definitely leaning into the beach life you can tell from even my bedspread here I love um, blue tones so the next two pieces are blue tops unsurprisingly um, that I'm really excited to wear 
Um, I have blue eyes, so anytime I wear blue tops, it really, really pops. So this first one is just a really casual t-shirt. Um, it's not too cropped, but it's not like super long. Um, so this is great where you can do a, also a front tuck into denim. Um, just a great basic that you can wear around the house or again to work, whatever it may be. It's really casual and it is a little bit worn. Um, so it's not too like crisp and clean, but it's a really great piece um, that is kind of ready to wear. Um, but yeah, if you tuck it up, really cute look. Um, I'd probably do black denim with this, wear a pair of booties, um, some great jewelry, and this is a really beautiful piece um, for spring. Now I am obsessed with this next piece. This is a little bit lighter blue, but this is almost more of a silk um, pajama-y material, but again, just so beautiful, it makes my eyes completely pop, so I absolutely love this piece so much. Um, this one is full sleeve, um, full long sleeve, and then also full button down, so um, a beautiful piece that you could wear again maybe under that um, black chambray that I showed you um, it's really versatile where you could wear it with lighter denim um, this would be really beautiful if you can't tell my kind of staple is a top some sort of denim piece throw on a jacket have a cute bag um, and a really easy kind of effortless look so if you can't tell the theme here I'm really going for pretty um, not full capsule wardrobe but really interchangeable pieces which makes it really easy to be able to style for any number of looks so whether that's work um, I work in an office, right, so being able to wear a cute outfit every day but that's not too formal is um, a definitely a must for me. And then um, also being able to transition this into a brunch. Um, I'm going on a few bachelorette parties later this year, and so being able to have those cute daytime looks, um, all these pieces are really interchangeable for that. So um, I definitely love this one from Zara. All the items I'll be sharing are gonna be linked down in the description box, so definitely make sure to check all of them out. I also have more pieces if you're ever interested in shopping my Instagram. I always have um, my Instagram linked um, to sh be able to shop from my website, kelseythisyear.com which is where I have my blog and even more posts um, to make sure to check out. All right, my third and final piece from Zara are a pair of pants. I'm absolutely obsessed with these. These are a beautiful ivory kind of cream color and just really beautiful for, um, for spring. So again, these pair with everything. They're such a neutral and a really great basic that you can have in your wardrobe. Um, there, I even saw a few different colors um, in the same style. One is more camel, one um, is black, if I recall. So there's definitely some versatility depending on um, what you're specifically looking for. For, but these pairs of trousers you can really dress down um, so again I don't have a formal office but wearing these with a tucked t-shirt it really can make um, it a more casual look or if you're in a more business casual environment then they'll be perfect for that too um, but again these are just such a beautiful color um, they'll be so versatile for the entire season and again even into summer so absolutely love this and because I love all my neutrals and basics it can really pair with any of the other tops that I shared with you today all right, my last clothing item are jeans. These are the Topshop Jamie jeans. I'm actually wearing a pair right now, but I needed a pair that had some um, holes in the knees. I love a good pair of black ripped denim, and these are just such a staple. Um, I got these from Nordstrom. You can also get them from Topshop online, and kind of whatever you prefer, but um, these are an absolute, absolute staple. So you'll see in the cutaway how I style them, but they're just such a versatile pair of jeans. I just can't wait um, to have them as a new addition to my wardrobe. So the next two things are going to be more fashion accessory items. So the first are skims. I got the new body tape. Um, these will be great, especially coming into wedding season. There are going to be so many bridesmaids dresses, so many outfits where you really need to be able to tape everything up. So I wanted to get this and try it out. So I'm really excited to try this. I have to be honest, I've never bought any of the Kardashian products, not KKW Beauty, not Kylie Cosmetics. And so this is actually my first one. So I'm really excited to try this out, but probably Probably won't open it up um, and get it going until um, we have some beautiful dresses to wear but I think this will hopefully be great and um, I can't wait to try this one out the next accessory items are Majuri. I have two bracelets that I want to share. Um, as you know, hopefully from my Tulum vlog, you kind of see me in all of their jewelry all the time. Um, but I have two new bracelets that I want to share with you. Um, typically, I have their earrings. 
again a lot of necklaces from them I love gold jewelry so I, I'll always kind of stick with the gold and measure is great to have um, not fine jewelry but um, not have it be too expensive um, these two pieces were gifted to me um, I have bought some of my um, own measure jewelry but again they're just one of my favorites so I love to be able to partner with them um, so the first one that you saw in the Tulum vlog um, and if you haven't checked that out that was my first YouTube video so definitely go back and watch it so the first is this beautiful gold chain um, this one is great because it um, fits perfectly around my uh, wrist so I got the small size I believe but there's nothing kind of dangling off of it um, which I can sometimes get annoyed with so I love that this just is like perfect fitting around my wrist um, it's really beautiful I wear it all the time um, definitely a new favorite for mine and this is the bold chain collection and then the next one I am wearing and this is um, the new zodiac collection this is the beautiful Zodiac collection. This one is the star one, I believe. Again, I'll link it down in the description box. Um, this is where it has the dangly that I talked a little bit about. So um, I definitely prefer the bold chain one, but this is just so um, dainty and beautiful. Check out the links below if you're interested in any of the major A pieces because they're one of my favorites. So I wanted to share two really quick Amazon finds since I've been talking a little bit about um, jewelry is with my engagement ring. There are actually some pieces I found Found on Amazon um, that you I, you just have to get I mean if you're a prime member come on might as well so the first is this um, jewelry this ring holder um, so this is really beautiful if you're familiar with the mrs. box um, this was actually like 12 15 dollars so it looks pretty comparable um, and then it's just much cheaper I think those are $85 and this one again was a lot cheaper um, so I got this to be able to hold my ring in um, and then it also has the second row where I'll be able to put um, a wedding band once I actually get married They do also come with ones with only one row um, So even if you want to store not even an engagement ring, but just any other ring that you have um, That's a really great Great find to be able to do that and lastly for jewelry is this diamond cleaning pen And so this has been a lifesaver. I don't even know how a ring just gets so dirty all the time So this is really easy again. I can't remember the exact price. I think it was less than $20 I mean it came in a pack of two of these, but it's a little wand So you twist it so it gets some of the gel out and then you stick it under water And then you scrub your ring and then you stick your ring um, And rinse it off and then you let it sit and dry for a little while and it just makes Makes your ring absolutely sparkling and beautiful and so again you could do this for an engagement ring any type of jewelry um, that you have it's a really great way to clean it really quickly and efficiently all right are we ready for beauty and skincare I've been highlighting it a ton um, but really excited to share these are some of my favorite 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 things that I have rebought bought again and again and again and so very excited should we get into it all right, my first is Summer Fridays. If you don't know what this is, like, come on. Are you even on YouTube if you haven't seen Summer Fridays? So this is the Jet Lag Mask. They actually just hit their two-year anniversary um, of the launch, which is so exciting. I did Accutane before. I'm still on Spironolacto, and I've really had um, issues with my skin really since um, I was a teen. Um, this I wear every night, so I put it on. Instead of, it's normally a mask. I wear it more as a moisturizer before before bed um, and it's absolutely amazing so it has really helped my complexion is also very hydrating sometimes I'll put an additional night cream on after um, if I want kind of an extra extra soak this is definitely an item that I have bought time and time again I don't even know how many tubes I've gone through they have a new tube recycling programs if you're like me and have a hundred of them um, make sure to do the recycling program um, to be able to reuse the tubes which is really exciting Next is another skincare favorite of mine. This is the Biosense. Biosense. I lived in France for a year. I feel like I should know how to pronounce French things, but who knows? Biosense, we will just say that. Um, this is the Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. Again, sorry if I'm totally butchering that. But this is a really, really great product. It's one of my favorite um, vitamin C products that I've found. So typically I'll put this on in the morning at the very end of my routine. And so I'll go through and kind of do cleansing, um, moisturizer, really a bunch of things. And then this is like the very last thing. And then I let that soak for 
um, quite a bit of time and then I'll start with my primer and it just is really hydrating to my skin again since I'm using a lot of acne products I can really dry out and so this is a really um, great way where it kind of evens brightens the skin with the vitamin C but then it's also really hydrating by Rado this is a sample of um, the body lotion this is the gypsy water flavor I am of when I was in Austin, they had this um, in the hotel, and so I snagged this from there, and I am absolutely obsessed with the smell of it. I can't get over it. It's like my new favorite thing. Oh, it just, I don't even know how to describe it. Um, the perfume itself is like over $200, and so I'm very, it's like, I shouldn't get it, but I'm obsessed with it. So I just wanted to share this. Um, if you're a sun person, haven't checked them out, I would definitely recommend it. It's definitely been one of my favorite things that I've just been slathering everywhere, and it smells so good. So again, by Rado Gypsy Water. This is just the travel size again, but... If you are worth the investment, I definitely recommend it. All right, we have a few makeup items to show you. Again, some of my favorites. The first, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Again, just a go-to. Hopefully you know about it. If you don't, you definitely need it. It's a little over $30 for a tube. Unfortunately, it does go pretty quick for me, so I don't like to use too much of it. Um, a little bit definitely does go a long way, but I do find myself rebuying this very frequently. So if you do find it on sale, great thing to stock up on. I am in the shade light to vanilla. Again, I typically do this around my T-zone. I have a get ready with me um, snippet that's part of my Tulum vlog. So definitely go back um, and check out that video. It'll definitely be linked in my description box. If you do want another full um, dedicated makeup tutorial, let me know in the comments below. I would love to be able to do that for you. Make sure to subscribe so you know when I am doing that. Next is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Beauty Light Wand Highlighter. This is in the shade Hollywood. Um, this one is absolutely amazing. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I have always been kind of a powder highlighter person, and this is a beautiful, beautiful cream one. And so it comes in this wand like this, and then I like to dab it on and then use my finger to um, really blend it in. But this has been... Oh, just so beautiful. I'm so excited for this in springtime when you just like want to be fully glowing. This is going to be such a great um, option. The last two products are lip products. The first is what I have on my lips right now. Let me grab it. It's also Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk um, lipstick. It is absolutely beautiful. Again, wearing it on my lips right now. So this is just a really beautiful neutral shade that can go with really all skin types. I love that it's really creamy, so it goes on. It is not dry. It is not sticky. Nothing. So I really, really love um, all of their lipsticks, but this new Pillow Talk one for me is a go-to for spring. Last but not least is a lip gloss. This is a Lana Lips um, Hydrating Lip Luminizer. This one is really beautiful. It has almost gold flakes in it, so it definitely gives a beautiful amplifying um, look to your lips. This could even be beautiful pairing on top um, if you do want to mix um, and get a good base with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and then using this Lana Lips. And this is in the shade Desert Glow. All right, well that was fun. Again, my first sit down video. I was so excited to go through all the misguided pieces, Sara pieces, um, my new favorite pair of Topshop, um, Jamie jeans, and then also so many great both accessory pieces as well as skincare and makeup. So um, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I'd love to see you back here, so please give that um, subscribe button a click so we can be here together. But again, my name is Kelsey. Um, thank you so much for being here, and please leave a comment comment with what you're hoping to see next. I'm more than happy to do more hauls, um, seasonal style videos, so we'll just kind of go with it. So let me know what you're interested in seeing. Again, all of um, the products that I showed you will be in the description box below. And let's go check out my two other vlogs um, that are up on my channel. One is from Tulum and then the other one is from Austin and a weekly vlog. So make sure to check those out and I'll see you very soon. Bye!